Hi, my name is Nick, founder of ValueSpreadsheet.com. Today I'm going to explain to you exactly how money works and I promise that at the end of this video you will be in control again. So why should you care how money works? Well, because schools do not teach you. Schools only teach you how to work for money, but not how money can work for you. Many people struggle financially because of this lack of proper financial education. They get trapped in work, chasing paychecks all their lives to pay the bills each month. They work to make their bosses rich, they work to pay government taxes, and they work for the bank to pay off their debts. The fundamental issue with working for money is that a job is a short-term solution to a long-term problem. It is as if you are constantly laying tracks in front of a moving train, where one small obstacle can derail it. If you work hard enough, you might manage to keep the train rolling for a while. However, you are constantly living on the verge of a personal financial crisis. You are taking a huge risk. If your income suddenly decreases or you face unexpected expenses, you are in big trouble. If you know how money works, you can drastically improve your financial situation because you'll know exactly what to do and what not to do with your money. You'll finally know why you seem to run out of money each month, no matter how much you earn, and be able to do something about it. You will learn how to get out of debt and to let money work for you. Ultimately, the lessons in this video give you the knowledge to get out of the rat race and achieve true financial freedom. The things I am going to share with you can help you to understand, avoid and fix financial problems as well as living a life without financial worries. So, let's get to it. By using water as a metaphor, I will quickly explain why so many people struggle financially regardless of their level of income. After that, I show you what the rich do different and why they get richer all the time. Finally, I give you my powerful financial health formula which you and anyone else can use to avoid financial problems and build significant wealth. To understand why many people struggle financially, let us start by looking at the financial situation of Joe Average. This bottle of water represents the salary Joe receives from his boss at the end of each month. This is the maximum amount of water he can spend. So what is he spending it on? Joe and his wife live in a nice apartment near the city center. The rent is quite steep though. Both Joe and his wife have their own car, including insurance, maintenance and gasoline costs. Groceries are not cheap either, and Joe just needs to get his hands on that new iPhone. Money is running thin, but Joe's wife wants to plan a well-deserved trip to South America for the two of them. Joe decides to use his credit card to finance the trip. However. Joe does not realize that getting into debt by using his credit card is like punching a hole in his income. The next month Joe receives his salary as usual. However, because he now has a credit card debt, money flows out of the hole and Joe is left with less money to pay for his expenses. At the end of the month he has no money left to pay for luxuries. And this only gets worse because the accruing interest on the debt is making the hole in his income bigger and bigger as time passes, causing the money to flow out at an ever increasing rate. Soon Joe must sell one of his cars and move to a smaller apartment outside of the city just to make ends meet. Joe is struggling to pay for his basic living expenses while simultaneously paying off his debt. This is going quite well though and he managed to pay off his entire debt after several months. But then, out of nowhere, Joe is fired by his boss due to a reorganization at the company. With no income, no savings, and several liabilities to pay for each month, Joe and his wife are in serious financial trouble. This is a sad but all too familiar story. So what is it that the rich do different? Well. Several things actually, and it has nothing to do with how much they earn. Joe got in trouble because he spent more than he earned, and financed this with debt. I did not mention how much money Joe earned, because this is completely irrelevant. Joe's story applies to people earning $1,000 per month, as well as to people earning $100,000 per month. 
earning a lot of money does not make you rich if your expenses still exceed that income. Earning more money does not solve financial problems. In fact, it often magnifies them. The key difference between someone who gets into financial trouble and someone who is genuinely rich is that the rich never spend more than they earn, which means they do not have to get into debt. The rich do not spend their money on luxuries first. Instead, they continuously invest a part of their income in assets which either generate money or increase in value over time. They only buy luxuries when their assets generate enough income to finance those expenses. Examples of such assets include stocks, bonds, businesses which do not require your presence, income generating real estate, and really anything that appreciates in value over time. A car or a gadget does not count, because they lose half their value the moment you buy them. By consistently investing a part of their income in cash flow generating assets, the rich let money work for them. And by doing so, they get richer all the time, with no additional effort from their side. So, the poor get poorer because they spend their money on liabilities, and the rich get richer because they spend their money on assets. You saw what went wrong with Joe and learn what it is that the rich do different. I will now give you my financial health formula which provides you with a step-by-step -step process to get your financial situation under control. First, make sure you have some source of income, no matter how small. Then, focus all your efforts towards paying off your debts. This is a top priority, because debt burns money faster than you can make it. I know that it is very hard to take a step back, but try to reduce your expenses as much as possible. The goal is to never spend more than 90% of your monthly income. Maybe skip that holiday this year. Sell your car and go to work by bike. Buy cheaper groceries. Or find a smaller place to live. Now it is time to start saving some water in your fridge to be able to survive periods of drought. Set aside a fixed amount of money each month to build up a financial buffer the size of two times your average monthly expenses. These savings allow you to stay afloat even when your income suddenly decreases or you face unexpected expenses. If your income is extremely low, still try to set aside at least a few dollars a month and know that each dollar you set aside is improving your financial situation and that of your family. The final step of the financial health formula is to start acquiring income generating assets by investing a fixed amount of your monthly income in them. Assets are like a water tap which is constantly dripping money into your bucket. And the more assets you possess, the more income they will generate for you, which in turn leads to even more assets in your possession. This is the power of compounded interest and the biggest trick of the rich. Ultimately, your assets could be generating enough income for you to quit your job. Congratulations, you have just officially escaped the rat race. However, before you get there, it is important to remember that investing in assets is not something you should do without prior knowledge on the subject. The easiest and safest assets to buy for people with little knowledge about investing are index funds and bonds of economically strong countries. So, to summarize, avoid debt like the plague. Never spend more than 90% of your income. Save enough money to cover two months worth of expenses. Then, once your savings are in order, invest the remaining 10% of your income in income generating assets. Finally, be patient, because time is your friend when it comes to building wealth. Thank you for listening and I sincerely hope that the information in this video will help improve your financial situation.